That's a Halsey hook right there. Testing, testing. I'm wasting so much f***ing time. Ha! You already know who it is. <laughs> it's Polly Iris. But you, loyal viewer, you can call me pretentious garbage. God knows everybody else does. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Self-deprecation. I need some cheese. -its. How's it going, Pollywogs? Clever. Wow, very clever. clever. The fandom name sucks. Thank you for joining me here at my not a desk at all because I'm poor. poor. You're fing poor. And welcome back to another episode of of pretending that that I understand music theory and production when really I can only pull it off with people who don't know anything about music at all and actual experts in music uh, see right through me immediately. Part two! Thanks for tuning in. So apparently uh, this visual abomination of a video has recently been spiking in views for no other reason other than encouraging me to capitalize off of it as soon as I possibly can. Strike while the iron is hot, as they as they say. I don't know who says that. I want to say in this video, since I forgot to say it in the last one, huge disclaimer on the the word indie in 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 the title. Fave indie singers. I don't know if I'm on a name of that. But yeah, this video randomly has been uh, gaining a bunch of attention. I don't know why, but. It is, so I think after an entire goddamn year since this has been uploaded, I'd say that's, I'd say that's a pretty good wait for part two, you know? So I think it's about gosh darn time that we, you know, you and I, we continue this journey, this phenomenal journey into making music that copies artists who are miles more successful than I will ever be. It's about god time. And let me just say, ha, I am more ready than I've ever been. More prepared than... I, I could not be more prepared. I mean, well, actually, I could be. I just meant that, you know, to this point, I have not yet been this prepared thus far, until now. I'm just saying I'm the most prepared that I have been, you know, to this point. Could I use a little more preparation? Yeah. I mean, this shit is already a mess, clearly. Let's fucking go. Today we're gonna be focusing on uh, two One. out of the four artists that I absolutely demolished in the last video. <laughs> Not really. Anyways, today we're gonna be focusing on uh, Halsey diving w right the f back in. Where did we leave off? That's how you sing like them. Let's get into the actual music and instrumentation. Right. The instrumentation of a typical Halsey song. Who is excited? And then my camera dies because of course. <sighs> but I did have time to plug in my piano that's not turned on. Cool. Okay, let's... Great. Awesome, that's great timing. Hello, mom. Hi. Hi. Um. Yeah, I'm leaving now, and I wanted to find out if you needed anything. Yeah, um, more bagels. Everything bagel, raisin bagel. Uh, either everything bagel or Asiago or something savory, not a sweet bagel. I ain't in the mood for sweet bagels when I wake up in the morning. Listen to you saying savory, like as if you are a gourmet cook. <laughs> I am a gourmet cook. A gourmet cooker uh, of music. Uh -huh. I'm in the middle of filming. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm not gonna buy them unless you check in the pantry. Okay, all right, then fine, whatever, just skip it. I just, I can't stop filming. I'm literally in the middle. Sorry for the interruption. Um, back to, back to business here. Cool, cool, cool. We left off on the instrumentation of Halsey's music. So we're gonna wanna start with the thing that's clearly one of the most important elements of her music. That stick, stick. I mean, we are talking some swine flu, Ebola, stage four testicular cancer type B. You know what I'm saying? Start with something simple, some 808 sounding kicks. You gotta feel that kick, like combat boots stomping on the graffitied concrete. All right, some teen angst. Let's go. So throw on uh, a pattern from, uh, let's say, just instrument off the top of my head, uh, deep tech.
Perfect, absolutely perfect, beautiful, flawless. Uh, let's throw in a little bit more detail there. There we go. That's mm, that's that's nice. Now, because Halsey loves slamming beats so gosh darn much, we're gonna add a second drum layer. Let's just do. Now we're gonna add that little swoopy sound effect at the end. That little like, you know, to to build tension and then release it. And that little swoopy, little whoosh sound effect is going to be signaling that after eight long bars of buildup, finally we get to hear that punchy fucking snare. Oh, oh, I can barely wait. The snare is gonna wanna sound like just punching, you know, your enemy in the face because angst. Perfect. And of course, let's add some little percussion details here and there. You know, popping. Cause you know, we're unique here. And now last but not least, I'm just gonna add one more little section of, of details just to really make that beat stand out. Ooh. Right there at the end, when you least expect it, gonna add a cute little, uh, little symbol, all right? Every eight bars, add something at the end to, to signal that this is the end of the, the verse, know what I'm saying? See how that's like signaling? Warning you like, hey, you know, stuff's about to change. Now let's hop right into the chords and buckle your seat belts. Uh, and whip out your Xanax because it's it's about to get real moody. First, we're gonna start off with the iconic Halsey song chord. I I'm pretty sure Halsey invented this chord, if, I if I'm not mistaken. Of course, kick things right off with the brutally honest and hopeless E minor. <sighs> Whew, I feel the tears. Followed by the even less hopeful A minor. <sighs> oh. Bumby ride, it's getting real, it's getting real sad. And then a, a quick transition into C before it hits you with the all hope is lost, that sinking D minor. I think, I think this is D minor. What is this, is this A minor? Wait a minute. Then, then slowly lifts you up with one last smack in the face, the semi hopeful G. Perfect chord progression. So let's go through that once. No, that's not E minor. Can I fucking, why can't I do this? Beautiful. Got it. Except instead of on this horrible shitty from my memory, I think $10 off of eBay piano, we're gonna do it in Logic Pro. What you're gonna want is that chord progression, that beautifully solemn chord progression, except in a soft, airy pad like keyboard. Let's let's do it in in lost reverse. Oh. Yes, that's it. Absolutely hopeless. Oh. My name is Ozzy. You put your lips on my lips that were so ballsy. Oh. <clears throat> I digress. After you've got the chords, which is arguably, you know, one of the most important parts. We're gonna move on to melody. Something... Mm. This is the goddamn hardest video I've ever had to make in my life. Let's do some research and just listen to... This scares the shit out of me, why don't you? Listen to an instrumental track by Halsey. Let's go with one of my personal favorites, Colors. You know, we all love colors. Let's give it a listen. Slow build up. see what melody we've got here. Okay, so that entire melody is just... So let's um, pretty much almost completely copy that. It just...
done, done, absolutely done. Uh, so just take that and use a really pretty little synth. These dreamy sounding kind of sparkly twinkle little keys. Uh, just make that the melody. But that's not enough. You're gonna wanna throw some more chords in the background. Let's throw on some very mystical bells that somehow sound like a combination between puddles and magic. Perfect. Perf- just thank you, Stars Drifting By. Shout out to you. So the melody we've got here is... And you know, that's all fine and good, but I just feel like it's missing something. Halsey really loves weird sounds in her songs. Can we find a synthesizer that it, it sounds like an explosion of falling, echoing stars? Wow, uh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Shout out to Bell Synth Atmosphere. You the real MC, thanks a lot. Love what you do. I think we're pretty much done. Maybe throw on some angelic chorus sounding um, voices, pad swelling and just building up. That is perfect, that swells. So then leading up to the chorus, we're gonna wanna throw in a pad to build that suspense, build that tension, something smoky, something, you know, pensive. Do you know what I mean? Like, just high, high octave, droning, but, but also pretty. Know what I'm saying? That's it, that's the one, that is it. So that's all really great what we've got so far. For the chorus, pretty much gonna keep it the same. I might transpose something. <laughs> transpose. Something up, you know, one octave, just to add some dynamics, some complexity to it. For the synth line, I may add these little things to just sort of punctuate it. That's, that's a nice little addition. Let's get more inspiration for the chorus. <laughs> of course, these chords. We're here listening to Ghost for some inspiration. As you can see, she clearly loves those banging, booming, bopping drums. That heavy, heavy percussion building up to the chorus. Chicka -chin, chicka -chin. Oh, some shakers. I didn't put any shakers in my tune, though. There's some lead in that. There's like this pulsating lead in the background. So I'm gonna throw on some fuzzy, buzzing lead. I'm gonna use filtered saw lead. It's not so heavy that it's like a gnarly growl, but it's still enough to, to give your song some edge, some angsty. Let's hear that, what I've got to complement that chorus. That's a good little melody to have in the background to just spice up that chorus. Spice it up a little bit. And then to build maximum drama, add like a nice onto the main snare. Nice little explosion. Just And then of course, add some little whooshing sounds. Toss some hi-hats on there. Just throw in some hats. And then at the very end, you're gonna wanna go out with a dun dun. Either double the snare or some sort of big finish. And then, uh, and then call it a day. Now we're gonna go into the structure, right? Obviously, Halsey loves Everything a is huge, a massive chorus that just fucking punches you right in the goddamn face, kicks you in the nuts, kicks you in the f in your stupid fucking mouth, beats you to the ground, curb stomps you. You want a chorus that's gonna fucking clock you right in the gut with no mercy, just. Absolute mess. Before her choruses, she does this little thing. She does this in colors, as you can hear. Everything is blue. Can you guess what it is? It's what I like to call taking a breath before the chorus. She does this in Walls could talk. She does this in ghost. Get anyway, my ghost. She does this in Give me a second. I know I don't need more examples, but I'm I'm committed to this and I'm stubborn and I don't want to give up until I f***ing find another example. She does this in a hundred letters. I said it's too late. Now I can't 
kind of. I think she does it in Now or Never. God, this is not, this is her worst song. Yep, she does this in Now or Never too. That's what she likes to do. She likes to have this open space, this little gap, just, and then boom, spitting it out. It's like taking a drink of uh, some alcohol and then you like, hold it in your mouth before you swallow it. No one does that. Completely abandoning that joke. Let's take a listen to how this little lead up, this little breath before the chorus sounds. Yep, that's a Halsey hook right there. Also, in addition to the little pre-chorus breath, it's nice to start peeling back some of the instruments, taking some of the lead instruments and sort of tucking them into the background to bring more attention to that, that, that little, yeah, the building of tension. It's, that's a Halsey hook for you. I think we've pretty much got it all set here. This is a great uh, layout. Congrats to me. Great, 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 great. As far as mixing and adding edits to all this stuff, biggest rule is reverb and ambience are your friends. When you're making a Halsey song, Ambience and reverb are your best friends. Create that atmosphere and just... Palpable atmosphere. Angst. Mood. Palpable. Done. Boom, that's it. That's all I can teach you. This is the goddamn hardest I've ever worked on a video that's only gonna get eight views. Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Mm. Now this fucking video was finally done. Oh, and by the way, in my first take filming this intro, the entire take wound up being completely out of focus the entire fucking time, so I had to refilm it. Tune in next time while I manipulate you into being a patron. Ooh, yeah. I had to refilm it while a little bit tipsy, but that's 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 beside the point. Pretentious. It's recording. It's recording. Yeah, I know. Oh. I'm doing the fucking lines, you piece of shit. Okay. How's it going, Pollywogs? Thanks for- You're gonna try and distract me when I'm fucking filming my goddamn video? I thought it would lighten the mood. Oh, goddamn it, piece of shit. I mean, the mood, the mood is already lightened, because I'm hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh. Uh, by the way, my, my, my first take, my, 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 oh, my, 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 my. Let's just dive the fuck back on in. Are you Snapchatting this, you piece of garbage? <laughs> fuck. It, only, only to close friends. Sure. Sure. Mm, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm in my own time zone, like I Did live really in the to go pay. To bed soon? I'm not going to bed. I'm gonna stay up and work on this shit. Thanks for watching. Oh. I'm in my own time zone, like I live in the past. As people. S I'm in my own time zone like I live in the past. As people say I'm always like they always bugging my ass the chirp chirp. Wait, can we play that one song? What what song? <gasps> Which one? Keep it fat? Rich song. Cause I'm fing rich. Rich. Those are my earrings and my shirt. You do realize that, babe. Not a desk. Mm. A desk and welcome back to an Katie. It's it can hear you. It's a camera. It has a f***ing microphone. It's okay, I'm talking into this one. Do you wanna do it again? No! I got enough footage! Okay. I did great, right? This sh you was my shorty I thought! No, no, no. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I fall apart is what I was singing. Oh. You stupid Saying I'm with the band. I be fucking hosting popping billies, man. You just like you a star. In the front. No, 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 no. Okay. I guess the back is what I mean. Right. Don't move it, by the way. There's a there's a button with a red dot in the middle. Just click it.